Oh look, these Swiss, they probably stole that in Sweden or Norway. They are allowed to do this, the police knows this, the postman, everybody who walks past here knows this. But if you would do that in Switzerland, as a foreigner, nick some road signs, you go in prison for a month, I'll tell you that. But the Swiss, they do this and they all know it. If I would hang up a Swiss traffic shield in front of the house, all the neighbors and all the postmen and everybody who passes there would call up the police immediately. But if the Swiss they steal from Sweden, it's no problem. Because that's normal for the Swiss. Because they're a bunch of thieves and very organized thieves, I tell you. There's the prison that they put me in. So if I would steal some Swiss traffic shields, I would end up here. Especially if you're a foreigner, they put you in there for at least for at least a month. So the Swiss thieves, they would never steal in Switzerland, because in Switzerland it's thievery. But if they do it in Sweden it's okay, or if they steal from other peoples, that's okay. Like the steal of the Americans, like the tax with the tax evasion. There are trillions going here in Switzerland and in America the people are sleeping in the streets because of these Swiss thieves here. I tell you, they would never ever steal a thing like this in Switzerland. But as soon as they're out of their country, then they become like something else, you know. Then they can do it. They won't steal among themselves. Yeah. Templar's flag. So that's the name of the high security prison I was in. And I'm not a criminal. I was a, polit a uh, political prisoner. That's where the, uh, the moose thieves are. And uh, behind us this prison, it starts raining. So here are the Swiss cave dwellers. Probably hiding from stealing things here. Like the Swiss, the Swedish traffic shield. So the, here, this, in the, that's where the cave dwellers are living in here. Probably for hundreds of years and more, thousands. Reptilians, maybe. Aha! That worked. It's sort of a magic spell. Confining like the territory you're coming up like you know and passing this with your whole body you're going over this here. This is some sort of a constellation. A uh, in the skies, a star constellation, what is this? It's also the uh, the universe. Like everything in the universe is in so you think these are just simple cave dwellers, you know? <laughs> no, they're not. You know, the Swiss are not simple at all. You know? Like the lodge. 116. 911. So why do you think they got this here on the uh, staircase? So you're coming up like a tourist from here. Yeah. And the moment you put your feet here on this area of the cave dwellers, like here is the end, you see that bloody thing there. Yeah. Why do you think that is? You know, it's like a magic spell. You know, like coming up here. It's like a magic spell or something, all these things hanging here, you know. Oh, 
passar. And the 16. The same number as all the Freemason lodges, the one I filmed here in Switzerland in the uh, Tolikover. 911, guys, if you turn it around. Let's see if I can turn it around, you know, like this. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> that's not good. What am I doing? Oh, 911, it's supposed to be. So in this video on my other channel, Gure, I filmed a, um, a very important Freemason lodge in Bern, Switzerland. And the American user Makaru, I don't know if he still exists, he found out that many lodges, they have the number 116, which is 911, if you turn that around. So here is the, um, the title. And here's my, the, my other channel. Just this with a snake on it, the pharaonic snake, cobra, the Uraeus snake. Oh, here are the cave dwellers, Swiss lizard. They're like caves, eh? We're probably going to an under, an underground waterway. And here's this, the site on the prison, uh, which I'll show you. And oh, we can even see it. There's the Sphinx. Uh, somewhere there. Oh, that's it. It's all very near. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there it is. This is what I wanted to show you. Sphinx in the middle of the mountains here. See, it's the only thing like that. There's nothing else here. It's very dense here. The only stone formation I can see here might be something as well. So here in the middle of nowhere is this Sphinx. It's all forest here. It's nothing. No. So here on August the 24th, 25th, 26th and 27th you'll be seeing the Sisters of Isis dancing here. Uh, these are the birthdays of uh, Osiris, Horus, Seth and Nephthys. And I'll show you the place where the, where the blood sacrifice is being done. It's all for us, there's, there's nothing else like it here. So here you can see it's a sort of a sphinx, see, the lion, which is a symbol of the pharaonic royal bloodline, which is here. And on top here, down the hill, there's an outlook on the, on the high security prison in which they put me in. And I was always looking out of my window and I said one day I'll go here, I've already been here. And uh, so this is my victory. You can terrorize me. You Swiss, you can terrorize me and put me in prison as an innocent and I'm not a criminal, as a political prisoner, but I will get out. 
you know. And I will forget nothing. And I will forgive nothing. I remember everything. You understand? Sphinx. So we are living behind that hill somewhere there. And here, just a few secs, just behind there is the, uh, the Sphinx. You can see there's nothing else like it, like the Sphinx or like a stone formation. So what does that mean? If there would be more, it meant nature made a lot of these things here, but there isn't. So that means it's man-made, it's the only one. But it's roughened up by the climate, as is probably sandstone. So it looks like a natural formation, I tell you it isn't. And this is the Emmental, where they had children's slaves until 1989, the Verdinkinder. And where, just five minutes away, behind the hill as well, there, there's this famous Hindelbank women's prison where they had eugenics going on officially with the help of the state by the state until 1996 can you imagine I've got a video in my favorites in my playlist about that can you imagine it's called contract kids the Australians came here to to witness to have a witness of that a witness account. Sorry, I'm losing my English. So this is a hiking path. It's got, you know, you want to go hiking here? Yeah. So there's nothing of a kind here. Nothing else. So that means it's man-made. We're going steep down here. You don't want to fall. You don't want to roll off there. So usually these sort of things, they're also a, uh, a place where an entrance is. Uh, they indicate something so they can find it again, you know, whoever did this. But I mean, you want to go digging here, I mean. Maybe the entrance is down here. So this is here where the Sisters of Isis run around on uh, these birthdays, I told you. So here's the place for the for the blood sacrifice with Bafume. Ba is the Egyptian pharaonic word for the soul when you're dead. Pa, that means to arrive, the arrivals, <laughs> if you want. Me, it means the pyramid. Ba, pa, me. What's that? In some sort of a bird. The moment I say bafome, did you hear that? I didn't hear this before. It's, that's funny, eh? So here's the village, it's called Krauchtal. Where this prison is, oh, I don't see it. Somewhere there. Well, yeah, there it is. It's a dark place, very dark energies. So these Swiss Templars and Swisses of Isis and their banks and their crimes and their lies, they have a uh, an alliance with Baphomet, Baphomet. And uh, that means the pyramid where the souls arrive. That's probably the function of the pyramids, the place where the soul arrive. And we know now, all over the world, it was the same ones who did it. I've been telling that for 30 years. And now the proofs are there. They have been found in uh, Puma Punku in Peru. Uh, Sumerian writings and pharaonic artifacts. They're all the same. Just as, well, they just have a different name and a different color and a different 
the pyramid was built a bit differently. Just as now they have different lodges which were founded in different times um, at different places. Like the Illuminati in Bavaria, in Ingolstadt where the Audi cars are from, which have which has a uh, Vesica Peiches where the oval is in. It's highly Freemason symbol, look at my films. And the uh, founded in 1776 by Adam Weishaupt. And they are not worse than all the others. It's it's just the same. Far more dangerous is the uh, the nine sisters of uh, the nine uh, the lodge of the nine sisters from France, the ones who gave the uh, who gave the uh, the Statue of Liberty, which is Isis, to, to the Americans for their Freemason dictatorship. Right. So this was not the bird. This is in Milan. It was a raven. A raven are quite special. One we just heard. So here's where the prisoners are walking like. Excellent place for sniping. The Krauchtal prison. This one they have a one hour walk around, walk about. This is for the high high security, they never come out. This too is high security, but this is extra high security. These are people who never come out anymore. They fill it full of foreigners, immigrants. So, yeah. If I would be here like it, uh, like 11 o'clock, I think they are like out for an hour. Uh, you know. So this is my my sniper camera. Krauchtal. And there you can see the old castle. It's the nobility, the pharaohs of the nobility, the aristocracy, making a lot of money with this. A loads of money, I mean. The, the richest people, you know, the, the, like the, it, it's, it's ten times as much they get for it like in the richest hotel. You know, like a cell, it costs hundreds of dollars a day, you know, with all the 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 guys the, the guards who are going to be paid and you know and, and all the all the equipment and everything added up it gets like maybe thousand dollars a day so this is good business for them for the nobility the fair aristocracy and uh, don't think this is by accident that this castle here is next to the well here the lizards down here just down here and just there is the uh, the Sphinx. Well, don't you think that is a coincidence? So this is called Emmental, the Emmen Valley. There's the prison. And uh, they're the Alps. Oh, there's Interlaken. It's so clean. Bournemouth Youth Hostel, you know. All the tourists go to. Clean Switzerland, eh? So this area is very well known for their children's slaves, the Verdinkende. They're the worst. You won't find any worse species in the whole of Europe, I tell you. And uh, by the way, I know somebody, well I'll tell that later, about the lizards. I'll tell you something about the lizards. Yeah, they even have a TV here from the caves, the cave dwellers. 
actually the anagram for Switzerland is lizards went it has the same uh, letters as Switzerland well this is where they went to among others and I know somebody who travels with the uh, I know someone who travels with the Elohim. I can't tell you more. Uh, this person told me that the, uh, well, as we know, the reptilians they have uh, mind reading capabilities, and apparently uh, this person told me that the Swiss have that too. This is the reason for which they they always stare at you. You know, they stare through you. They want to go inside you. You know, they're like walking cameras. You know. And uh, this person told me as well that they use the waterways. So, reptilians here, high security prison there, and a castle. And just there behind is the Sphinx. You think that's, that's a coincidence? No, it isn't. So, before we were up there with the antennas and nice view, now we're going down here. And there uh, is the high security prison and the, uh, the Swiss flag where the, uh, the, where the thieves are, stealing from Sweden. Oh, there's the high security prison. Oh. My camera is my sniper rifle. My sniper camera. See? I'm not going to forget anything. This is so evil and so bad what you did to me and my family. So they're the, they're the thieves. Stealing traffic shields, the Templar's flag. Stealing stuff from Sweden. I tell you man, if I would do this here, I'd, have, I'd definitely have a place there. Well this was my cell. Top cell, second from left, I think. And here's the bear, what John saw in the Bible, in the Apocalypse, the Revelations. This is the bear. This is the capital of Switzerland. They even murdered two thirds of their own population who spoke French, like in Lausanne and Freiburg. An incredible bunch of murderers and assassins they are. I wonder what's in there. So oh, before we were on top of here, look how it's built into the mountains. This plot probably a lizard waterway. For the mind reading lizards. Lizards went. Switzerland. So here's more up there. That was the other one, yeah. And this is the uh, from the Swiss Army hiding here. These people always hide. They hide everything. They hide their intentions. Oh man, what they got here! Look, at this from the army here. Like a, uh, a little. What is it? There's also like a rail going up, like to bring ammunition and guns. In the presence of three witnesses, me and my family got attacked by the violent Swiss cop Hans Rudolf Kuni and his partner, whom I uploaded in my very first upload here in this channel. Look at his eyes. Then an expert on demons and reptilians discovered his shapeshifter black eyes when pausing the original footage, which is unfortunately very short because of the violent and aggressive behavior of this dangerous cop, who even hit me to prevent me from further filming him. As we know now, for hiding his black eyes and this thing hovering over us. And these Swiss even use their judiciary system and the terrorist squad to intimidate me and my family in order to have me remove the shapeshifter cop. 
Me, myself, I'm just a historian, so I just follow the advice of uh, experts on it. But we can all see there's something wrong here. And there's something very wrong with this country, Switzerland, Octagon. Look at their history, and there's something very wrong with their people. Um, so, me, myself, I'm not an expert on all these things, but um, this guy was very dangerous and lying and... and uh, very aggressive so that the, there is something very wrong here in Switzerland user Marino Delfino here is an expert on demon shapeshifters and a damn good editor here's the title of his film on the on the evil Swiss cop so here's the title of his film and the name of his channel uh, go and have a look he's an excellent editor and a great human being. They have a sort of a half moon in their symbol committed to improving the state of the world or the world state improving the world state the one world state the new world order. Well nice. Every year in Davos Switzerland the WEF or World Economic Forum and the world's financial elite gather there under totally exaggerated security conditions in their Swiss paranoia. And some people say that Davos is the very base of the reptilians using the underground waterways and high up in the mountains where there is no iodine in the air from the sea which their lack of theroids can't stand. So here's a pyramid in Davos which I, uh, I I took a picture of it before I had my camera. This is years ago, way back. Uh, I would have filmed it if I had a camera then. And uh, just just look at the capstone. They even did that, like on the dollar. They did that in another, in another color. You see, in in metal. Because this is the capstone where the all-seeing eye is in. So this is in Davos, where the um, where the financial elite lives, where they gather every year, where it's in the middle of octagon, where there's never a war, but they finance them all. They've got the dirty little fingers and everything. And there's this big pyramid here with a capstone. Experts say that reptilians have mind-reading capabilities, which might be the reason behind that Switzerland has so successfully anticipated the cause of history and avoiding wars and in the meantime they got their dirty little fingers and everything 